Okay, I swear this started out as a legitimate question of a legitimate problem and some brainstorming, and then Rob was wrong. So, from a standing position where the guy is tight, it's kind of a headquarters position in no gi, Rob, take it away. The team sweet. <laughs> okay. If you've watched the modern leg lock formula uh, or some of the, the other material that I have out there, you know how fond I am of including the taint or proximity to the taint as often as possible. So, or taint to taint. Taint to taint, foot to taint, uh, it's all just, it's all a rich tapestry. So, uh, when somebody's in this headquarters position, and for, for that matter, this is a principle that, uh, you know, aside from being fond of taints, I'm fond of general principles. So the general principle that we're going to employ here is the idea that I can create a lot more power by planting one foot on the ground and elevating with the other leg, right? I've seen people really struggle, for instance, with butterfly sweeps where they're just trying to lift with one leg. As soon as you plant this foot on the ground, you power this leg up. So the answer is when somebody's sitting on your foot, if I'm attempting to play some kind of guard here, you're actually really stable, you're low, you're strong by planting this one foot on the ground, provided that I'm not allowing you an underhook and the ability to maintain this kind of, yeah, this, this knee cut structure. So if I'm here, I'm mostly concerned with hand fighting and controlling one of your wrists, right? Two on one control. If we're in the gi, we can work sleeve it, but that's not an option. So I'm gonna try to gain this two on one control, in particular over this hand. It doesn't serve me as well with this hand, although it's still no, workable. It's still better than nothing. It's better than nothing, but I want this hand, right? So once I've found my hand fight, this foot is planting, and I'm pinching my thighs together, just again, to prevent any potential of this knee cut. I'm slightly turning my hip in this way. With this foot on the ground, I can start lifting you and placing my foot against your taint. Right? We use this motion all over the place. Uh, for instance, when I'm playing De La Riva guard, uh, we have a modified De La Riva position that we call the DMX, a De La Riva modified X, where we cross our ankles like this. All right? When we use this position, we elevate someone with our foot in the taint, and we grab their far ankle. As we're sweeping them, we tell them that X is going to give it to you. <laughs> and now we finish the sweep. <laughs> so many great DMX songs that you can reference when showing this stuff to people. Um, when we're playing single leg X guard, as this foot gets stripped, provided I'm blocking your leg so you can't advance forward, I plant this foot on the ground and I elevate. I bring my foot in. I've caught your far ankle. That's really why I'm elevating you. It's not to sweep you. It's to get control of this other ankle. And now, with the tank pressure, I'm able to continue the sweep. We're using that pressure to shift someone's center of gravity. So you know, the principles we're employing here are proper framing, proper base, and controlling our opponent's center of gravity to displace them to give us uh, their other leg. It's very hard to sweep someone if you're only controlling one of their legs. Uh, it's certainly not impossible. There are very good single leg X players out there that do it. Uh, if you start dealing with the gi and you have the luxury of restricting one of your opponent's arms so they can't post on the ground, then it's definitely doable. But in no gi, when you know someone can always place their hands on the mat, and especially if they're long and lanky and flexible, and flexible, it's almost impossible to sweep someone with one leg. So we use whichever one of these kind of taint kicks to get someone to step forward so we can capture their other leg. Once we've captured their other leg, we step with either foot kick away, and while we're kicking away, we're continuing to pull both of the legs to us, uh, maximizing the lever control of our partner's hip and maintaining a frame. As we do, we rock up into base. We can always switch as necessary with which leg we're going to use to technical stand-up, but that basic uh, idea is how I would solve the, uh, the headquarters position or any standing passing position where you're attempting to sweep your opponent and you're only controlling one leg at that time, this is how you gain control of the other leg, uh, destabilize your opponent, uh, and have a lot of fun with the word taint. Okay. So the taint sweep, the taint sweep 101. Yes. The steps one more time. Please. Yes. Uh, so we're talking about from here. Sure. Sure. Okay. So steps are two on one control, uh, like you're eating a big sandwich, and then stepping your foot on the mat, lifting with this foot, bringing your partner forward, keeping the knees pinched so that the leg doesn't come through. Right? This grabs the far ankle, and I bring my foot inside, catching the far leg. Or the near leg, sorry. I've already caught the far leg. I push, 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 push. As you base with your hands, I just rotate around you. I just rotate your base, and I pull your center of gravity to me and keep your legs elevated. 
Because you were posting your hands on the mat, they're not able to grab my foot. Right. And I can withdraw to my technical stand-up and finish the sweep. Awesome. Thank you very much. No worries. Team.